The next part of our build is to take our magnet wire and straighten it out and then take eight inches and double it back on itself. So I'll be back to you in just a second once we get this straightened out. I've uncoiled the wire. It of course has a lot of little bends and kinks in it. That's not important. You're gonna be bending it around the toroid anyway, so that's irrelevant. But you wanna measure out approximately eight inches of this wire right where my finger is, and then bend it back on itself. And now what we're going to do is twist the wire. If you watch the various methods of three of the gents over at Coffee and Ham Radios, you're going to see T.O. do the casual twist. You're going to watch uh, the Smoking Ape do the love pencil twist. And then you're going to see KK6USY do a tight twist using a drill. Uh, my personality really fits the tight twist. I'm a little bit tightly wound myself, so that's what I'm going to go with. Let me show you how to do that. To make sure you don't strip the coating off of your magnet wire if you're using this method, put some duct tape or painter's tape on the end of these pliers because you're going to be gripping this about an inch and a half in from the end of this wire to keep the twist from happening the whole way out. And you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit here on this end where you're sticking it in the drill chuck. Let's get that in our drill. Make sure your drill is in low speed and make sure you have some torque on it. And only grab the end where you have the tape. Again, you don't want to be stripping any of the enamel coating off of your wire at this point. We'll do that later on purpose. We don't want to be doing it now by accident. So all I'm doing is tightening the chuck down. I'm not actually on purpose twisting any right there. Just got tight. I didn't really twist the wire on purpose. You can see my wire is still fairly loose. Now I'm gonna grab down here about an inch and a half to spare from this end, and that's going to keep the twist from going any further down. Do that with my left hand. All right, let's make sure we're in camera, and now we're gonna do the twist. Look at that little nice wind. All right, let's see if we have success. All right, we have about an inch left here on the end. Let's take it out of our drill chuck. Set our drill aside. Take off our painter's tape. And we have success. Now we are going to wrap this around our toroid. We're going to do a total of 14 wraps through the core of this toroid. The first two will be with the twisted wire. We'll do five more with the single wire. We'll cross over on number eight and then complete wraps nine through 14. Let me illustrate it. So first of all, take your wire and put it through the center of the toroid. We're orienting this piece of wire that was an inch to inch and a half off to the left hand side, left, middle, right. So off to the left hand side, and it will stay at the bottom of this toroid. And then we're gonna bend the wire off to the right side. So here is going to be our first turn, and I'm going to automatically um, go right back up through the middle before I tighten over here. Now I'm going to begin tightening across the top of the toroid, keeping this bottom kind of bent this direction, making sure this stays off to the left. All right, let's wrap this tighter. This is the hard part. Once you get to the single strand, you're going to be just fine. Okay, coming across the top now, that's considered wrap number two. I'm almost completed wrap number two. I don't go back through the toroid. Okay, you can see now I'm just leaving this wire down here to the side. So now I've got my inch and a half piece coming off to the left. 
I've got the double coming off to the right. I have two wraps across the top. On the bottom, I have one wrap with the double coil and you, these are not really considered wraps because they could be coming straight out at this point. I've just pre-oriented them for how I'm going to attach them to the winder. All right, so your double pair has two turns at the top. Now what we're going to do is take this individual single wire and now we're going to feed it through the toroid and we're going to bring it up to the left hand side of my inch and a half piece. Okay. Two cameras and I'm not in either one of them. It gets so much easier with the single. Okay, you can see that's off to the left of my inch and a half piece. All right, following me. Keep it as tight as you can. So this is wrap number three. One, two, three. Get these a little better spaced, and again, I can do that later. Going to go through now with wrap number four. Wrap number five. One, two, three, four, five, six is next. Again, keeping them as tight as I can and adjusting as I go. Number seven. Bend up across the bottom. Go tight. All right. Space them as good as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this one, number eight, is a crossover and I'm going under the toroid and coming out the other side. Coming across to the other side. And that is considered number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight crosses over and goes under. Now nine through 14. And again, we want to keep these tight. So now this is number nine. Going through with number 10. Number 11. Coming number 12. Number 13. And finally, number 14.
And there we have our wrapped toroid.